CDC will release new information showing just how fast the Delta variant spreads. The agency's director says this variant is one of the most transmissible viruses that we know about right now, including chickenpox and the measles. The information from this report will also show fully vaccinated people can spread the Delta variant at the same rate as unvaccinated people. And here in Ohio, more than 1,200 new COVID-19 cases were reported yesterday, which is nearly double our 21-day average. And it was the third day in a row that we've had more than 1,000 cases per day. Right now, nearly 50% of the state's population has received at least one dose of the vaccine. A last-minute extension from the FDA saved millions of the Johnson & Johnson vaccine doses from being thrown away as some were set to expire next week. Our Caroline Sweeney spoke with local experts then about what this means for people getting vaccinated now in Northeast Ohio. For the second time since giving the Johnson & Johnson vaccine emergency authorization, the FDA extended the drug's shelf life, keeping hundreds of thousands of doses in Ohio from being tossed out. We're happy and we're going to continue because we have groups, we have individuals who only want J&J. In an announcement this week, the oversight agency said the vaccines can now stay on the shelves for six months up from the four and a half month timeline given earlier this year. Summit County Health Director Donna Skoda says this is welcome news. We were absolutely thrilled um, because it's 3,500 doses we have here that we were gonna have to throw out. Plagued by production issues and a temporary pause in distribution after rare side effects, the want for the J&J &J vaccine isn't as high as Pfizer or Moderna. Nationally, only 13 million people got the single shot from J&J, &J, locally. I would probably say that's about 20 to percent that will only take J&J. &J. But even with the extension. We were estimating we weren't gonna use all of them. A county with low vaccination rates won't see a change either. In an email to News 5, a Holmes County Health Department official said the longer shelf life won't have a significant impact on vaccination rates there for clinics in the area. The time is of the essence. It's an opportunity to keep reaching out to people who are unvaccinated. The convenience of having a one shot vaccine that's available that they can use and they don't have to come back for a second dose in three or four weeks is highly desirable to many folks. Donna Skoda is trying to make sure the 3500 J and J vials get used before they expire. We've been reaching out to some schools and nursing homes and places where we know individuals are often turning over. Caroline Sweeney, News 5.